in ghana a big deal here now look at my coins okay this this is one city and if you change this money to naira right now is about 150 nigerian naira hello guys what's up and welcome back to another video and so this is a real i i don't know how many people are waiting for this video because you know that i will talk the way i criticize my people when they talk down on ghana is the same way i praise and raise the alarm when they can relate to what i'm talking about about ghana so if you are new here welcome my name is lillian this video is a reaction video of a nigerian man who is in town he is from the eastern part of nigeria how did i know in nigeria we know ourselves by the way we speak so our intonation gives us away i believe for me if a nigerian is here right now you can guess where i'm from i believe you should know through my intonation so i clicked on that video this is not the first video of him that i've bumped into but this particular one made me watch to the end because i want to hear what he's saying and there he is praising ghana to the highest heaven and back okay fine let's be on a serious note he did not praise ghana he only confirmed what he saw in ghana his experiences in ghana some people just get offended oh why are you praising another african country when you have your own no i want to help this young man now for those who will be attacking him he is not praising ekene is only confirming this in ghana and i am here to defend him because everything he has said is everything he said in that video is nothing but the truth and hold on let me play some part for you the difference between me and ekene now let's play some clips i'll be back and you believe that ever since i've been in ghana life has never gone off for once you don't need Jane in your house. Forget about the capital city. Let's talk about the typical village. Even the areas that looks like a zongo, that looks like a ghetto. Guys, they have 24 hour power supply. What is like, I beg, go and buy me fuel, make an own my generator. Guy, challenge me, bet me, security is 100% in Ghana. Their soldiers are gallant, they are up to date. Their police people are well informed and educated. You hardly see an illiterate in Ghana police service. When Ghana people are dissatisfied with their president, they tend to come out in mass and protest. Their president will listen to them. But in other places, when you tend to come out to show your dissatisfaction to your president, you become the story of the day. <laughs> the difference between me and this guy is that him is not bold he's throwing shade hold on bia i'm okay bia i'm okay is in my country you are throwing shade at like that to say their own is you know if you talk um, in nigeria lights no day i'll help you one name that is why you are my brother okay don't worry i got all the, all the people that are coming to drag you they can drag me on your behalf it's okay what are we families for what i why are you my countryman in fact my own brother gong 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 from the east you know you know what i'm talking about so ekene i mean this guy the only issue is that he can't put it straight because he will be criticized i understand me I can put it straight because I don't care. Uh -huh. So what he's trying to tell you is that the lights that all these Nigerians, YouTubers, all these Nigerian YouTubers have come to sit down to say, eh, we have lights, we have 24 hours lights. What this guy is trying to make you understand is that they are lying, okay? Because he is saying the truth. And because I confirm that what he's saying is the truth. What the other people are saying is a lie because this guy has this video section by section so section two please so my second experience the second experience is ghana their police is called ghana police service ghana police service guys do you know what is service service means rendering help to who needs the help. Service means helping people. Service means bringing yourself down to let, like, oh my God. Police service, Ghana police service. But it's not Ghana police force. Because if you must be forced, that means they'll be using force on people. But this is Ghana police service. 
that name alone if i hear of police service if i'm if i'm afraid of police before <laughs> is section two ghana police i mean this guy is uh i don't know i think he has my kind of personality because for the way he feels about the ghana police service is the same way i feel but why are you throwing shades my brother you they throw shade at giant of africa because your people are coming to drag you that is fine but don't worry speak your truth take it stand by it eh you are a man now nah. you are a man don't worry if they come for you the truth is that you have spoken your truth and every other person will find a way to be okay who is doing the force is it not nigeria <laughs> so you know if we talk it's okay okay nigerian police force mm, because they want to brutalize you let's go to section three because what is this i don't like what i don't like it but it's fine he's a man he may want to go into politics some days or so 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 for me i'm not interested in anything i just want to speak the truth you know you guys have been wondering, how did I notice? See, I don't spend the whole of my days in the hotel room. I tend to move out. I mingle with people. So I have noticed it. And this is my experience so far in Ghana. Yeah, let's see section two, section two, please. He said the policemen are, see, for here, policemen go to the gym. They sign up. It's part of this. It's not negotiable. They go to the gym because men a job they give you. They didn't. They didn't imprison you. They want you to look fit. I don't think some of them knows what a gym looks like, but majority of them goes to the gym to work out and keep fit. And the Ghanaian police women, their own. I think they have some. They do select. I don't understand because all of them are so tall and they have ikebe. They are properly shaped the nigerian soldiers are gallant i won't lie mm, i don't want to lie see when it comes to soldier the army you see a nigerian army is is one of the people i'm so proud of in nigeria like they are disciplined they are gallant they are well put together they just don't like nonsense yeah for the soldiers our soldiers has a lot of similarities no cap but the police they are not mm? one is here one is there <laughs> arrest my case now let's go to section three this country still use coin and this coin what i can buy can water two Ghana cities with the coin you can buy what again you can buy um like yesterday i bought coconuts on the road six Ghana cities with coin I don't have notes, but I use my coin to buy it. I bought Zobo on the road. Uh, how many Ghana cities? Like, I used coin. Do you know the last time I used coin? Do you know that this feeling when you have coin? At least, the poor masses can still, can still buy or, like, afford things. The poor masses still have hope to afford things when they use this coin. Things are affordable. Economy is okay. Tell me why will Ghana not be a fast growing country? Number four on my list is I was going back yesterday from a shoot. I noticed something. Yeah, coins. The truth is that coins matter. I have not really taken, uh, I've not looked at it from the way this guy is looking at it. The truth is, when you go to ShopRite Nigeria and they give you coins, just know that that girl is about to wicket you because there is nothing you're going to do with that coins. Even five naira in Nigeria now, people reject it because for you to give the amount of five nairas that will make sense that will be able to buy sachet water it means it got to be plenty and nobody want to move about with bulk of money that is going to cost people around to think they are moving about with money whereas it's peanuts uh -huh. so that coins thing in ghana <laughs> in ghana coins is very important like hold on now look at my coins okay mm-hmm this is one city and if you change this money to naira right now is about 150 nigerian naira <laughs> it simply means that this coins is 150 or 120 
Nigerian Naira right now. Mm. Yeah, here, people use coins. In Nigeria, coins is a punishment because you can see this in Nigeria, it would be like um, one, it would be like one Naira or 50 Kobo. Yeah, just one Naira and then for them to give you this times 50 Naira, you know what that means? You can't move, it's heavy. That is true. Coins in Nigeria is useless. I'm sorry to say in Ghana, it's valuable. All right, thank you very much. Let's go to the last part. And then, yeah, 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 hold on. Another thing he talked about in the video is where he went to change money and quickly want to hide it. Yeah, I can say yes and also say I don't know. Depends on the area. There are places you go to here in Ghana. Ghanaians themselves will tell you to be careful with your phone. Though I have not heard that regarding money or other material things. I only heard be careful with your phone or be careful with your phone. When you go to some selected areas in Ghana, they will tell you be careful with your phone, be careful of your phone so they don't snatch it. The monetary aspect, I have not had any Ghanaian tell me to be careful with my bag that people are going to snatch it. I confirm that one and uh, because i've not had to and i have not had to move around with huge amount of money and also have i have i have i okay when i was paying my rent i think yeah i moved around with money for some time but nothing happened mm, nothing happened so i confirmed that to be true <laughs> now let's go to the last one where he talked about security Number four of my list is, I was coming back yesterday from a shoot, I noticed something on the road. Ghana, your drivers will wait for you to cross the road. <laughs> Guys, let me repeat again. Their driver will wait for you to cross the road. Like, I've not seen this kind of a thing before. There was this small boy coming back from school yesterday, he was just alone. He is the only one on the road, on the other side of the road. The, the car I entered, immediately saw the boy. He breathed, do you get? He was waving his hand like this. And he asked the boy to pass. I turned my back, I saw other drivers moving their hand at those ones behind them. Until that single soul, that boy, passed before they start moving. I noticed it like two times. Like, this is, they have self-respect. They have, they have, they... This is, a, this is a country that works. This is a country that is organized. Important one, security. Guy, challenge me, bet me, security is 100% in Ghana. Security is 100% in Ghana. So I'm talking to you right now. In Ghana, you can be on the road around 12 p.m., 12 a.m., nothing is happening. You can even sleep on the road the next day. Nothing will happen to you. Guys, something happened. Do you know why I said Ghana security is top no. That was a place I went to exchange money. The guy was counting the money. He gave me the money. Quickly, I told him, okay, let's hide the money. He said, no, no, keep the money here. Nothing is happening. I said, here? Yeah? He said, no, keep the money. And let me even tell you, the place I went to change the money is in a big village. If a village can be secured like that, what about the city? This guy told me, keep the money here, nothing is happening. I kept the money I was counting. The guy said you can even keep one million naira there. All right, the security part is true, as a matter of fact, okay? But I, from the goodness of my heart, will tell you to respect night, okay? It doesn't matter if Ghana is safe or not, but night is night. But in a case where you find yourself out there at night, it's not something to panic about, okay? Don't panic. Don't be panicked because it's not um, a big deal. You can go home to wherever. For me, when I used to travel 
for content back then when i used to go for content creation i travel around ghana i go everywhere sometimes i want to get to accra like i will leave kumasi maybe in the evening and by the time i get to accra it will be night maybe due to traffic it will be late like three o'clock and the only reason that will make me sleep at the bus station is if i don't have a lot of money on me to take a taxi because by that time i will not get a truck road that is moving that's a public bus that is moving from maybe circle to where i'm going so i will end up sleeping there and then go early in the morning like five o'clock when the structures start moving so that one is true but it's not something i advise you to do okay don't respect the night then nights should be respected but ghana is safe that's the truth okay it's safe to some extent so you should be careful in case you think so it's true but you should be careful and another thing is there are parts in accra that don't sleep at all like the mokola markets from morning to night especially that to-do area the day i brought my kids to ghana they got their face and they were like ah people are buying and selling we even bought pier that day you know people don't sleep there and also places like osu people don't sleep in osu there are businesses that are 24 hours you know so so these places if you are out at night it's okay enjoy yourself but it's not everywhere that you should do that as okay but everywhere you go is safe but still respect the night okay that's why he said oh i'm me i'm here to loud i'm raise i'm raise i'm raise i'm raise i'm he said that i'm here to raise it because the same way i condemn my sisters the same way i condemn people for speaking down on ghana the same way i raise it raise it raise it when people are speaking because this guy said in the video is true i wish he has already had an encounter with the ghana police so that he can give the honest review because that one is still a thing of debate people still strongly believe that ghanaian police are not being fair to nigerians so i can't tell you that because i've not uh, no one arrested me like i'm a good girl you know <laughs> I've not had that kind of dealings with them. The only time I had dealings with them was when I went to report someone and that was it. They took up my case and they handled it well. I was satisfied. But I've seen a couple of videos of Nigerians complaining about their experience with the Ghana police and I wish that I can I wish that this guy has the experience with the Ghana police like on one on one. So we get to hear because we get to hear now. If this guy comes up tomorrow and tell you something that he discovered in Ghana that he didn't like, don't go for him. He's a honest person because, I mean, just look at that. All right? <laughs> I'm done with this video. I will see you guys in another one. Bye.